Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today uh, I am back with a video on SDR Angel. So SDR Angel is a software that will allow you to transmit or receive signal using your SDR platforms. For example, if you have HackRF like the one that I have or you can use your RTL SDR dongles and there are like multiple support of different devices which, is, which are available. I have made a smaller video on SDR Angel where I just use where where I have just told you how you can use it as a spectrum analyzer. Uh, but I'm going to introduce you to some some measurement tools which are available, and you can easily go and look at a couple of things. So you can make some couple of measurements. So uh, as you can see, my HackRF is already connected. Uh, you can use your RTL SDR dongle because I'm using this in a receiving mode. So it doesn't matter, you can have your article SDR dongle or you can have your SDR play dongles or anything. Uh, right now I am connecting my HackRF because I want to show you some spectrum that is like around the Wi-Fi area, uh, like around at 2.4 gigahertz, uh, around that vicinity. So so just, just simply let's have a look at it. So right now as you can see, you, so once you open up your SDR angel, uh, this is what you would see. This is what an output of uh, NSDR Angel looks like. Now the next thing you need to do, because I'm using it in a receiving mode, so this is just simply click on here and go to your sampling device, set your sampling device. Uh, you can just do this, it will refresh the device scan, it will, it, it will scan your device and you will quickly see that your device, is, is, your device will appear over here. So right now I have HackRF which is connected, so I'm going to choose my HackRF and I'm gonna hit OK. Now I'll get two screens. This is basically a controller of that screen and here on, on your right hand side of your screen uh, what you will get, you will get your spectrum and you will get a waterfall graph. These are the two, two things that you would see. Just having your device connected to it, let's just hit a play button and you would see, you can clearly see, you can see both of the spectrum. So this is a spectrum right uh, you have your frequencies on horizontal axis you have levels in terms of db here and then you have your waterfall graph right here look at a frequency let's look at somewhere around 935 megahertz why 935 megahertz uh, it's a good band it's a good band you will find a lot of uh, pockets of channels which are there it's actually a gsm band so we're going to look at it so just simply go here and change your frequency to 9 35 as soon as I hit 9 you can clearly see you have a lot of activity going on in terms of the spectrum you can clearly see uh, the population of your spectrum and also you can see a waterfall graph as well so this is just some basic stuff uh, then you can just by changing frequency a little bit uh, you can see the other spectrum you can see all the bands which are coming next to it let's let's go a little bit more and and so forth so so on so 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 this is this is what it looks like now if you were to look at closely there's a lot of things you can just play around with these buttons the one that that interested us the most or interested me the most is actually this guy uh this so when you click on this it says open spectrum measurement dialog all right so just hit on this all right what type of measurements you want to see? What type of measurements you want to see based on whatever the spectrum is? What type of measurement you want to see? All right. So I'm going to first, first of all, I'm interested in knowing peaks. All right? There are a lot of peaks. So I want to know what are the peak power and things like that. So just simply click on it. And I want to see five peaks. And I want res result precision to be somewhere around one. And close this. So now... When I look at my signal, so when I look at my signal now, all right, so we have peaks right here. I have peak one, which we don't care because this is just a center frequency. I can close this frequency. This is just a DC component. By going here, on, on here, you can just simply turn this off so it's no more it's not there anymore now once I look at this if you want to look at it closely 
there are many peaks which are there which we are not seeing but right here so you have peak number one that is somewhere around 936 because there are a lot of peaks which are changing here over on this side then you have uh, 4, 936, 936.57 and so on and so forth all right uh, let's just change the frequency a little bit let's see if I can get some clearer peaks uh, hold on a second let me just go here um, so let me just changing the frequency a little bit just to see if I can get uh, anything more clear in terms of peaks so so this is one type of measurement that you can perform using your SDR angel uh, which SDR angel automatically does it for you right based on number of peaks now now what you can do next is this uh, so just simply go here go to your measurement again Go to your measurements again, right here. This is the measurement. And let's say you want to look at channel power. How much power does the channel have? Okay, let's just uh, let's leave everything as default. Channel bandwidth as 10. Close. Now this is here at the bottom. You will see what is the channel power. So the current uh, and mean is around negative 69.5 dB. Whatever you're observing, this is the mean. The minimum is negative 81, the maximum is negative 58. So negative 58, this is where it's speaking out. Um, standard deviation is somewhere around 3.7 dB. So this is how you get channel power measurements. All right, the next thing is what type of other measurements I can do. Uh, I can simply go here and let's see what I want. I want to look at adjacent channel power. So, so just simply look at it. Okay. So this is an adjacent channel power. This is what you will find. So you have center power, then you have left ACPR, then you have left power, right ACPR, and so on and so forth. You have standard deviation, you have mean, what is the minimum, what is the maximum, and things like that. You can do what other measurement you can do. You can do measurement in terms of occupied bandwidth. Okay, occupied bandwidth. Uh, so occupied bandwidth is somewhere. So normally, the occupied minimum is 7.031 and 9.7 so occupied bandwidth is between 2.344 kilohertz and you have a standard deviation of about 527 and last but not least uh, I can look at my 3 dB bandwidth all right and then the next thing is my SNRs signal to noise ratio so you have signal to noise ratio signal to noise I don't know what that FR means. I know this one is total harmonic, uh, third harmonic, uh, uh, harmonic disorder. This is third harmonic disorder plus you have noise. Then you have cyanide, cyanide, and and things like that. So this is one of the uh, interesting measurement that we would like to see if I'm, if I want to transmit in a in a spectrum or when you're thinking of designing a radio system and you want to see or you want to sense the spectrum based on this value especially when it comes to cognitive radio design when you want to sense the radio uh, to, to, to actually see what's going on what type of an SNR is there so you can perform transmission or reception so, uh, so that's the idea so I, I kind of really like I just I was playing around with this and I came across this so I really like this if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel